Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the power theorems. So let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to letter E determine the relation among second segments, tangent segments, and chord segments of a circle. Letter B find the measure of the length of unknown segment of a circle using the power theorem. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. So let's have first the intersecting chords theorem. So if two chords intersect within a circle, then the product of the lengths of the parts of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the parts of the second chord. So in this circle, we have two chords. So we have chord a b and chord c d so all we need to do is to equate the product of the lengths of these two chords with each other so we have the formula segment a e times segment b e is equal to segment c e times segment d e so let's have an example so we have a given circle here so the measure of segment FS is equal to 6. The measure of segment AS is equal to 4. The measure of segment GS is equal to X or unknown. And then the measure of segment LS is equal to 3. So we need to find the measure of segment GS. So let's have the solution. So we will construct our formula. So we have here the two chords. So we have chord FA and chord LG. So we need to equate the product of the two parts of the chord of the circle. So we have the formula segment FS times segment AS is equal to segment GS times segment LS. And then all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. So the value of segment FS is equal to 6 times the value of segment AS is equal to 4 equals the value of segment GS is equal to X times the value of segment LS is equal to 3. And then we will simplify 6 times 4 is equal to 24 equals 3 times X is equal to 3X and then we will solve for the value of x. We will divide it both sides by 3. So 3 divided by 3 will be equal to x. 24 divided by 3 will be equal to 8. So the value or the measure of segment GS is equal to 8 units. So let's have our next example. So we have a given circle. So the measure of segment AN is equal to x. The measure of segment ON is equal to 8. The measure of segment RN is equal to 12. And the measure of segment MN is equal to 7. So we need to find the measure of segment AN. So to do that, we will construct our formula. So we have here the two chords of a circle. So we have chord RM and chord a, o. So we will equate the product of the parts of the chords of the two circle. So we have the formula segment AN times segment ON is equal to segment RN times segment MN. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding values. So we have the value of segment AN is equal to X times the value of segment ON is equal to 8 equals the value of segment RN is equal to 12 times the value of segment MN is equal to 7. 
and then after that we will simplify x times 8 will be equal to 8x equals 12 times 7 is equal to 84 and then after that we will get the value of x by dividing it both sides by 8 so 8 divided by 8 will be equal to x 84 divided by 8 is equal to 10.5 so the measure of segment a n is equal to 10.5 units let's now discuss the intersecting seconds theorem it states that if two second segments share the same endpoint outside the circle then the product of the length of one second segment and the length of its external segment equals the product of the length of the other second segment and the length of its external segment so we have here two second segments that is located in the circle so we have second segment CA and second segment EA we will construct our formula so our formula will be segment CA the second segment times segment BA the external part of the second segment equals segment EA the other second segment times segment DA the external part of the second segment EA so let's have an example so we have here a given circle the measure of segment SI the external segment is equal to 16 the measure of segment HI the external part of the second segment is equal to X the measure of segment TF is equal to 10 and the measure of segment FI is equal to 8 so to solve for the value of segment HI the external part of the second segment we will construct our formula so to solve for the value of segment HI we will construct our formula so we have segment SI the second segment times segment HI the external part of the second segment equals segment TI the second segment times the external part of the second segment which is segment FI and then we will substitute the corresponding value the value of segment SI is equal to 16 times the value of segment HI is equal to X equals the value of segment TI this one the second segment is equal to 18 so we will add the value of segment TF plus the value of segment FI so 10 plus 8 will be equal to 18 and then the value of segment FI is equal to 8 and then we will simplify 16 times X is equal to 16 X equals 18 times 8 is equal to 144 and then after that we will divide this both sides by 16 16 divided by 16 will be equal to X 144 divided by 16 is equal to 9 so the measure of segment HI the external part of the second segment SI is equal to 9 units so let's have another example so we have a given circle so the measure of segment JE is equal to 11 the measure of segment EA is equal to 4 then the measure of segment SA is equal to 12 and then we need to find the measure of segment NA so to do that we will construct our formula so we have segment JA the second segment times segment EA the external part of second segment JA equals segment SA the second segment times segment NA the external part of the second segment SA and then after that we will substitute the corresponding values so the value of segment GA will be equal to 15 11 plus 4 is 15 
times the value of segment EA is equal to 4 equals the value of segment SA is equal to 12 times the value of segment NA is equal to X. So we will simplify. 15 times 4 is equal to 60 equals 12 times X is equal to 12X. And then after that, we will divide this both sides by 12 to get the value of x. And then 12 divided by 12 is equal to x. 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5. So the measure of segment NA, the external part of the second segment SA, is equal to 5 units. So let's have another example. So we have a given circle. So the measure of segment CB is equal to 6. The measure of segment AB is equal to 4. The measure of segment AD is equal to 2. And we need to find the measure of segment ED. So to do that, we will construct our formula. So we have segment CA, the second segment, times segment BA, the external part of the second segment, equals segment EA, the second segment, times its external part, which is segment TA. Then we will substitute the corresponding values. So to get the value of segment CA, we will add the value of segment CB plus the value of segment BA. So 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 times segment BA or AB, which is equal to 4 equals segment EA and to get that we will add the value of segment ED plus segment DA. So we have the value of segment EA is equal to X plus 2 times the value of segment DA or AD is equal to 2. And then we will simplify 10 times 4 is equal to 40 equals X times 2 is equal to 2X and then positive 2 times 2 is equal to positive 4. And then after that, we will simplify the equation. We will bring down 40. Transpose positive 4, it will become negative 4 equals 2x. And then 40 minus 4 is equal to 36 equals 2x. And then we will get the value of x. And to do that, we will divide this both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to x. 36 divided by 2 is equal to 18. So the value of segment ED is equal to 18 units. So let's have our last theorem. So the tangent and second theorem. If a second segment and a tangent segment share an endpoint outside a circle, then the product of the length of the second segment and the length of its external segment equals the square of the length of the tangent segment. So we will construct our formula. So our formula will be the square of segment AB, the tangent segment, equals segment AC, the second segment, times the external part of the second segment, which is segment DA. So let's have our first example. So we have here a given circle. So the measure of segment SO is equal to X. The measure of segment OA is equal to 9. And then the measure of segment OR is equal to 25. So we need to find the measure of segment SO. So to do that, we will construct our formula. So we have the square of the tangent segment, which is segment SO, equals segment OR, the second segment, times segment OE, the external part of the second segment. So we will substitute the corresponding value. So we have the value of segment SO is equal to X the second power equals the value of segment OR which is equal to 25 times the value of segment OA is equal to 9 and then we will simplify 
bring down x squared is equal to 25 times 9 is equal to 225. And then, the square root of 225 is equal to 15. So the measure of segment SO, the tangent segment, is equal to 15 units. So let's have another example. So we have here a given circle. So the measure of segment EB is equal to 10. The measure of segment LB is equal to 25. So we will find the measure of segment OB, which is equal to X. So we will construct our formula. So we have the square of the tangent segment, which is segment EB equals segment LB, the second segment times segment OB, which is equal to X. And then we will substitute the corresponding values. So the value of segment EB is equal to 10. Equals the value of segment LB is equal to 25 times the value of segment OB, which is equal to X. And then we will simplify. So we have 10 to the second power is equal to 100 equals 25 times X is equal to 25X. And then after that, we will divide this both sides by 25 to get the value of X. So we have 25 divided by 25 is equal to X. And then 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4. So the measure of segment OB is equal to 4 units. So let's solve our last example. So we have here a given circle. So the measure of segment XW is equal to 10. The measure of segment XY is equal to 5. And the measure of segment YZ is equal to 3X. So let's find the value of segment YZ. So to do that, we will find first the value of x. So let's construct our formula. So we have the square of the tangent segment xw equals xc, which is the second segment, times segment xy, which is the external part of the second segment. We will substitute the corresponding values. So the value of segment xw is equal to 10 equals the value of segment xc is the sum of the value of segment xy plus segment yz. 5 plus 3x is the value of segment xz times the value of segment xy which is equal to 5. And then we will simplify. 10 times 10 is equal to 100 equals 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 3x times 5 is equal to positive 15x. And then bring down 15x equals bring down 100. Transpose positive 25, it will become negative 25. And then after that, bring down 15x. 100 minus 25 is equal to 75. And then we will divide this by 15 to get the value of x. So 15 divided by 15 will be equal to x. 75 divided by 15 is equal to 5. So the value of x is equal to 5. And then to get the value of segment yz, we will use the equation 3x. All we need to do is to substitute the value of x. So by substituting the value of x, 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So the measure of segment YZ is equal to 15 units.